There is good reason to believe that people who cultivate thankfulness tend to be happier and healthier than those who don't. Thankful people appreciate what they have instead of obsessing over what they lack. They express gratitude to others and often receive more gratitude in return as a result. They see each day as a new opportunity for happiness, rather than another challenge to struggle through. While some people may naturally be more thankful, don't assume that you cannot nurture a more thankful perspective in your own life. It may not be easy, but you'll be thankful that you made the effort. 1. Take a minute to be thankful for your life. Sometimes a good way to get back on track and feeling better is to take a break. You'll need to identify things to be grateful for, and sometimes the break itself is a good reason to be thankful. At work, school, etc., go for a walk around your building or step outside for 15 minutes to breathe the fresh air and muse about how thankful you are for the opportunity to take a break, to stretch your legs, to feel the sun, etc. Take a moment to notice the little things you're thankful for, like your morning cup of coffee, or your pillow when you lay down to go to sleep at night. 2. Tell someone you appreciate them. So often life gets busy that you forget to tell people how much they matter to you, or that you've noticed what they do, and it means a lot to you. Expressing your thanks to others will cultivate an atmosphere of thankfulness that can spread out gradually. For example, if your spouse packs your lunch for you, call or text them something like, Honey, I know packing a lunch doesn't seem like much to you, but I really appreciate how you always try to make my morning just a bit less hectic. 3. Talk about gratitude with family. Set aside a time, like the evening meal, to talk about the things you were grateful for that day. Let each family member have a turn to discuss what made them thankful that day. Make it a routine to go around the table and mention at least one thing you're thankful for before digging in. Try to be as specific as possible. For example, instead of saying I'm thankful for all of you being there for me, you could say I'm thankful that you all help me tend to the garden every weekend. 4. Send thank you notes. It is really amazing what sending just a small thank you note can do. A thank you note acknowledges that the person gave you something, time, effort, a gift, that they didn't have to, and that you appreciate what they've done. You don't have to write a massive novel thanking them, just a few lines that let them know what they, and their gift, time, effort, etc. Meant to you. Thank you texts, emails, voicemails, etc are great to send and receive, but there still seems to be something particularly special about a handwritten thank you note. Your thank you note can be as simple as a post-it with a short message, or it can be written on a notepad with a flower or heart doodle. 5. Give back as part of giving thanks. Being thankful isn't just about telling people you are thankful it's also about giving back to your community and friends. This doesn't mean that you give back so that everything is even and no one owes anyone anything. Give because it's the right thing to do and because it feels good to do it. If you know the person, help them directly. For example, you could take your grandmother to her appointments or help your friend move into her new place. If you don't know the person, continue their good work. For example, you could repay your college advisor by mentoring others. 6. Focus on the intention behind kindness shown to you. When someone does something nice for you gives you a gift, brings you a hot meal, offers to read over, and edit your thesis focus on how they tried to bring something good into your life. Someone gave up their precious time, money, etc., just so they could do something kind for you. This focus cultivates an atmosphere of gratitude that is then passed on to other people through your actions and words, especially if you have children. 7. Make sure to say thank you regularly. 
Thank the barista who makes your coffee. Thank the person who held the door for you. Thank the customer service person who helped you figure out why your phone wasn't working. Speaking the words aloud can help cement the feeling of gratitude in your life. Use the words thank you as a sort of prayer or mantra. You can thank specific things, or you can just repeat the words over and over to yourself. For example, you could give thanks for the food you ate this morning, the rain for watering all the trees, your rain jacket for keeping the rain off, and so on. By cultivating gratitude, and by speaking it aloud, you can do things like ease anger, anxiety, depression, and other health problems. When you say thank you to people, make eye contact and smile so they can feel the sincerity. 8. Find reasons to be thankful, even when it's difficult. Sometimes it can be really hard to be thankful in your life. These are the times, however, when it is even more important to cultivate gratitude, because that will help you get through the hard times better than getting angry or upset will. To cultivate gratitude for something like a difficult or boring job, make a list of the good things about the job, it gives you money so you can buy food and have a roof over your head, it gives you a chance to take the bus into the city and see the early morning sun, and so on. For something like a breakup or a death of someone you love, you should allow yourself time to grieve and be sad. Being grateful doesn't mean doing away with emotions like sadness, anger, etc. It simply means making them more manageable. After you've given yourself time to grieve, make a list of the things that you learned or are grateful for from the relationship, and then what you are thankful for about the relationship being over. Tips. Remember, sometimes you will have bad days, where you're grumpy and dislike everything. That's okay. Don't beat yourself up because you aren't constantly floating along in a bubble of gratitude. That may be the goal, but no one's yet reached it. Just because you learn to be thankful doesn't mean that bad things won't happen, or that you won't be affected by the things that do happen. It can simply help to make the things that happen easier to deal with and not as taxing for your mental health. You can't always control what happens to you, but you can work on controlling how you respond to things. Thanking people for the little things they do for you, at least once in a while, helps others feel appreciated too. A little gratitude can go a long way in making someone's day, and that can help you feel better too. Thank you for watching and please leave your comment, like and subscribe to our channel.